get stuck. Okay? See, so now there's a blood groove to where I can just go in and come right back out. But as I go in, I'm turning to come back out. So just that quick. So if you take a spoon and put it in to shoot a melon and turn it, what are you going to pull out? You're going to pull out a little nose, right? Yeah. Well, knife, you won't do that. So I'm cutting him going in this way. I'm turning it while I'm in there and coming back out. So now I'm cutting this way, I'm cutting this way, and coming back out. I may not come straight back out. I'll go in and this way. Okay? See, well, so well, what some of us know in the industry as a ribbon cut. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, so just, I'm picturing that happening yeah. in my head so clearly right now. It's scary. All right, sorry, let's continue. Right. No, so yeah, see, so shoot. People have uh, said, what? Well, hey, yeah, I watched uh, John Wick movies and uh -huh. things like that and, and all the knife moves. And, it, and I'm standing there listening to them and I'm smiling. And I said, keep in mind that all that is choreographed. Okay, being with a knife with somebody is not, this is not where you want to be. No, I can okay. cut you just as easy. Sure, yeah, right, okay. And I don't care how good you think you are, <laughs> how good you may be, okay, you will get cut at this distance, okay? All right, I've been cut, okay? I know what it feels like, okay? See, so now I'm here, okay? See, so I'm right here. I still reach him. That's all I want to do. It just cut him. Okay? I, I, I don't want to stand here and try to do all this with him. Okay? Because he's trying to do the same thing shoot to me. Okay? So I'm back here. Oh, see? Okay? Even if I am. Right. Okay? See, so I'm here too. See? I just didn't take a bigger step. Okay, see, so as I step, I never go past this point. Footwork is always right here. One, two. Okay. You, you do talk about your, your ranges. You have, I believe, three major ranges that you, you, you refer to? Right, there's three combat ranges. Right. Okay, three of them. Okay, I'm back here. Okay. Step in here, okay, here, yeah, okay. Three, I should arrange it, okay. I'm here, okay. I can't reach him, okay. He can't reach me, okay. So now I'm here, and all I did was just step up. Now, combat range. Hand to hand now, okay. See, okay. So I take a step back. I'm right here. Take another step back. I'm right here. See? Okay. So, re so remember the three ranges of combat. Risk. Combat. <laughs> hand to hand. Okay. See? Okay. So always stay in the risk area, never let somebody approach you that you do not know, okay? Because someone approach you, hey man, you got a smoke and stuff? Man, that sure was a that's nice shot. <laughs> Boom. He <Okay>? is faster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you does nothing, okay? You can't stop that. I can't stop that, okay? Ooh. I'll get stabbed, okay? And he's good. <laughs> what I teach my students you have to learn the, the severity of how you get cut. Hmm. Okay? That's interesting. Very. Okay? Because if I stand here, okay, and do this, okay, right. now you can do it and shoot to me. See? Okay, now I have to limit that, okay, of how I get cut. Do it again. See? And, and I just cut him. Okay? See, so I know where I am all every single second. Oh, so it, versus it's, him. Yeah. If he takes a step forward, just take a step back. Now I can go offline. Okay, now he can go offline. 
Now I'm offline. Okay? He's taking a step back. Okay? I can stay here. Okay? Can he still reach me? Take a step forward. Sure he can. Okay? Take a step back. Okay? Take a step forward again. Okay? Okay? I have to know where he is every single second. Okay? So, yeah, see, <laughs> this is where we are. Okay? Combative knife is not someplace you want to be. Okay? If he has a girlfriend, she will move with him, and I actually bump in, shoot to him, and, and she says, you gonna let him bump into you like that and get away with it? Oh no, baby, you didn't get it. <laughs> See? Okay. See, now, okay, now, okay, now he has to save face. <laughs> I know, it's, okay. it sucks. <laughs> and, 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 That's and, a bad girlfriend, by the way. Right. <laughs> yeah. And this happened in Sacramento. Really? A few years ago in old Sacramento in a uh, nightclub. Okay, and I don't know if you uh, people uh, heard about it. Well, I was but, gonna say, do you frequent nightclubs, sir? No, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> See, but and that actually happened to where the place was crowded. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, I've been to that place during the daytime. Uh -huh. You know, when they had a beer, so okay, fine. But this happened at night on on a New Year's Eve, okay? and this person. It, it was probably bumped right. in, shoot to uh, a, 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 yeah, guy, and yeah, the guy said, hey man, she, I, I'm a sorry and stuff, and his girlfriend said, you're going to let him get away with that, okay, and, and now he has to save face, okay, and he could have told her, hey, I'm, let it go, right, okay, and he should apologize, and we have, yeah, 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 okay, so now, okay, so now they're outside, Okay, and the guy that bumped into him that apologized, he's the one that died. Okay, because the boyfriend, boyfriend's girlfriend wouldn't let it go. Wow. Okay, see, so now he's in jail, he's in prison, and, and... She has a new man. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Doing the same thing. Don't you gonna <laughs> let him get away with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'll take Not, my knife yeah. instead. <laughs> Please forgive me, I'm not knocking women no, by, no, no. You by saying, Are you going to? No, no, please, okay? But, yeah. Because his wife would kill him. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah my wife would, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so, yeah, see, so combative knife is not something that you want to get into because right. I don't want to do it, okay? Because I know what my limitations are and you have to know what your limitations are. Okay, when it comes to uh, fighting somebody, even bare, bare fisted. Right. Okay. Yeah. See. So if we put the knives down. Okay. No, pick yours up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he wants a challenge. Right. Okay. <laughs> so one. Give me one. I just broke his arm. Yeah, he did. Okay. Listen. Boom. That's you right here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. Now I, I can do that, okay? I can go here, parry, traumatize this muscle. Boom, right here. Okay. Come back here. Okay. Push however I want to end it. Okay. But I have to know where that knife is. See, so now he's coming back again. And I'm right here. Boom! Hit this karate right here. I know where this is. Okay? Alright? Now he's still not done. Now he wants to come back through again. Okay? Boom! I'll just trauma, traumatize it again or just go right here. He hit him in the face, hit him in the throat, eyes, however I want to do it, but I have to know where this is every single second. Okay? You know, you just gave me a flashback of the 25th episode. <laughs> he dropped me down and he looked me in the eye and made eye contact first and then he went whack, right to the crotch. <laughs> yeah. Well, after oh, he dropped yeah, me I did, yeah. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> right, yeah. Yes, I did. I, yeah. 
Right. Yes, so he, he, yeah. see, he paused and he's like, you looking at me? You see this? You see this? Quack. I was like, oh, crap. Right. That was because, yeah. Because we did, the, we did this very same thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And I took him down to the ground, <laughs> just like this. Okay. But he was facing this way and I just went back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. They, yeah, so. Yeah, and it's fun to practice, folks, but, but <laughs> yeah. I would like to re-emphasize what Master Harry Green said about it's not somewhere you want to be. No, it's not. But if you find yourself there, you sure as hell better know how to get in and out. Yes. See, so, yeah. See, so even if I have to get down on one knee and apologize to him, okay, for bumping into him or, or, or you know, whatever uh, happened, I'll do that, okay, because I want to go home, okay, and I'm sure that he does too, okay, but if he persists, okay, I know where it's going to take him, okay, because I don't know how good he is with night, and he certainly doesn't know how good I am without one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, so, yeah, see, so, uh, there again, okay, limited severity of how you get cut, Know where you are, mm-hmm. okay, and and just be safe, okay. Shoot another other story. Yeah, I had come back from uh, Vietnam in uh, November '68, and I shoot my uh, first wife. Shoot and I with our future son's uh, godparents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we shoot, we're down in San Francisco at you know shoot my aunt's house and stuff, spending shoot the weekend. She and I uh, said, Ed, hey, um, let me take you down into the Fillmore district where I was uh, raised and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, so going down there, walking down Fillmore Street, then walking back, back up again, okay, toward California Street, these two guys that she were walking down the street, you know, she was approaching us. Okay, so then, so then she they said, hey, man, I give support or peace. Okay, yeah, so, okay, fine, see, so he's standing there, his buddy walks behind me, and I'm standing next, next to the curb, he's, okay, he's in the street, okay, so right there's a great big plate glass window, okay, so I could see him, okay, so I said, what, he said, give support or peace, and I had this great big leather coat on, and I had my hands, I was in the pocket, never took my hands out, okay, so I said, well, here's what's, here's what's going to happen. So I took my hand out, right hand out, and, and I said, the one stand, and never looked at him. <laughs> and I said, the one standing behind me, I'm going to kill him first, then I'm going to kill you. She and he said, what? I said, I'm going to kill the one standing behind me, then I'm going to kill you. So this guy walks from behind me, walks around him, and he said, man, she, this guy is crazy. I said, look, I just spent two years in Germany, Vietnam, killing either one of you won't make a bit of difference to me. <laughs> And yeah, and they shoot, that's just what I told them. Okay, so as they started to walk away, she just turned around and looking at me, man, this guy is crazy. I said, hey, hey, stop. The next time I see both of you walking down the same side of the street I'm on, I'll kill you in broad daylight. So if you, I hope you see me before I see you, just walk to, just walk across the street. <laughs> okay, yep, and they just walked on, turned back, looking, man. So, yeah, so. Did I call it bluff? Yeah, I didn't have a thing to shoot my pocket. <laughs> okay. Nothing. You no, know, just my hand. Okay? Yeah. Okay, but I called it bluff. In young guys. Okay, so yeah, see, so that, yeah, that's I, that's a short story, yeah. But a true one. Okay, so yeah. That's a fun story. Right, yeah. See, so it's not where we want to be again. No. But. Yeah. Yeah, see, so combative knife is not something that you want to get into with someone, but at least learn how to protect yourself with one. Okay. Okay, yeah, just don't go to a store and just pick out a knife and, oh yeah, man, you just, yeah, man, I love this thing. Does it fit you? Okay, I may be with you to go buy one, okay, I may not like it. Okay, man, okay, but I can't tell you, well, don't buy this one because I don't like it. Yeah, you have to pick out a knife that fits you. Now you have to play with it. So you can get the feel 
of your knife, okay? Because as I train you in combat of knife, okay, you have to learn how to do this. Okay, because Is it odd that I got incredibly nervous now that he put it in his left hand? <laughs> Yeah. See, so now you have to teach your hands, okay, not only right-handed, you have to teach your hands left-handed as well. Okay? So your left hand has to be just as dominant as your right. If you're left-handed, you have to teach your right hand to be just as dominant. One of uh, my lady students, shoot a few years ago, she came to me, she was dominant left-handed. And she never wanted to learn how to, uh, how to do combat, how to knife left-handed. She wanted to learn everything right-handed, even uh, combat of stick, right-handed. So, yeah, see, so she's moved on. She's in Hawaii now, kicking up sand, okay, <laughs> <laughs> with a stick. She's knifing stuff, okay? Right, yeah. So, yeah, so learn it, okay? Learn Make it, it well, okay? And practice you have to practice. Because I tell students, okay, go home and practice you oh, what we just did today. Okay. Yeah, okay. So they come back and hit a couple of days and they say, okay, show me what we did. And they, hmm, yeah. And I say, you didn't practice, <laughs> did you? <laughs> well, no, I didn't have time. I said, you had time, you had time, you just didn't do it. And I said, even if you have five minutes, pick a knife. You should just do things, okay? Even in just five minutes, do something, okay? Don't tell me that you don't have time. I don't have time, but I have time for you today. I don't have time for your nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just picture so, him thinking that yeah. in his head. <laughs> but he's too polite to say it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. See, so if you ever in Sacramento, that's where I live, Hey, and if you want to learn combative knife, some from someone that has used com that has used it, survived it, and survived it, okay, come see me, okay, and we can as you get you started, okay. So and we are bringing up workshops. We're putting them out there, and by we, I mean Dennis. Um, <laughs> we're just promoting it. But he is having workshops. I believe your next one is in uh, Nevada, in Carson City. Uh, that is on the 26th of March. 26th yeah, of March yes. in Carson City again. Yes. Okay, look, it up, look it up. Yeah. Find him Facebook at uh, what's your Facebook? Yeah, just Harry Green. Yeah, they, yeah. Just on Facebook, type in a GM uh, Harry Green. Okay, and green with an E. Yeah, green with an E, and yeah, and uh, you will find me. Yeah, we have that workshop in March. We have another one coming up in uh, April. And uh, Mr. Oh, Wayne, would you mind? The local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, you know, it's always a treat to watch you play. On um, we could have used the real knives on nine. Just yeah, no, we just, could have. Just yeah, you know what? <laughs> just cause I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna put it back in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my God! Uh, that I did that was such a real treat, folks. I hope you enjoyed this segment of uh, our conversation because you know, Master Green is gonna start, I guess, touring. I guess, right? Touring. So, what? so, <laughs> yeah. so really, what, when you hear about it, you you, you got to go visit and um, really and enjoy the hell out of this because this young man, you like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this young man is uber dangerous <laughs> no he really is and believe it or not folks this is just the tip of the iceberg yeah. the the amount of knowledge that this man has we, we could not possibly cover in this one segment um everything you got here is from what i understand the basics that he teaches beyond that that's the nitty-gritty that's the good stuff but you have to earn it you have to put in your time you have to come see him in order for that to be passed on to you otherwise I'm sorry for you, because um, <laughs> we know where he lives, yeah. so we can see him often. Yeah. Uh, again, to reach out to you is Facebook yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. You're on there. Well, GM yes. Harry Green. Uh huh. Yeah. GM Harry Green. Uh huh. Huh? Cool. Yeah. So yeah. See. So in 20, 2022, uh, we are moving forward uh, really rapidly. So yes. uh, yeah. See. So 
if you want me to come and visit you, uh, let us know so we can get you down uh, on a, a date and time and stuff. Do it. Calendar's uh, going to fill yeah. up fast. Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah because uh, yeah, we have uh, February. We we're doing uh, things in February, March, April, uh, May. We'll be up in Reno again and and uh, so forth. Yeah, see, so Do we have free tickets? <laughs> yeah. I must try to yeah. handle that right now. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, yes, he is that shameless. See, yeah. and I'm also on camera. camera. Yeah. No, I think that's part of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no offense to the whole culture, just him just specifically <laughs> gives your culture a bad name. Right. In yes. general. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So if you're down in the San Diego area, uh, look up uh, senior master instructor uh, Nicholas Moreno. Good friend he, of ours. Yeah, he is one of my top top uh, instructors. Although and he will never admit that he is one of the top instructors. By the way. Right. Yeah. He probably won't. And and uh, my knife system is in the uh, United States Marine Corps at Camp Pendleton and senior instruct and senior master instructor Nicholas Moreno teaches that system to the United States Marine Corps at Camp Pendleton. Yes. yes. Super nice guy by the way. Yeah. Oh very super intelligent yeah. too. You oh, might yeah. think he's as a uh, <laughs> you know what? We're gonna stop right there. <laughs> you know, he's a great guy. Yeah, he is. Right. He's a great guy. Fantastic person. Caught yourself from dying. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. It's his direct student. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. So, well, cool. Harry, thank yeah. you for spending the time with us. Oh, awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Anytime you get to see us, always a treat for us. Thank yeah, so it's much. a treat for me, and thank you for having me down. Dude, are really, you kidding? Really appreciate it. This is do it. Oh, no. Weekly our calendar Definitely. for you. Yeah. Definitely our pleasure. It's yeah. my daughter's birthday and we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. And one of the best times I had last night was at this man's birthday party. Okay, we had a awesome time. If you didn't come, yeah, if you didn't I, see the yeah, post I, on I, Facebook, because he met everybody. Thank you. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, hey, if you're down in this area, you have to stop by and see these two gentlemen. Oh, oh, okay. oh. I thought he was going to yeah. say you have to stop by and see me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. I don't know who we yeah. are, but yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So <laughs> we're just a couple of schmoes. Yeah, we are. Well, no, okay. Yes, you guys tell them. Yeah, you uh, who you guys are and where you are located. Calling conversation. We're on South San Francisco, three eight seven Grand Avenue. We work out of Physique Magnifique, a wonderful, wonderful place. The people here will treat you like family. And if they don't, we'll teach you like a distant cousin. That we don't like this. <laughs> at least. Stephen Red Child? Stephen Red Child. At worst. At worst. Yeah, see, yeah. See, uh, yeah. See, she, we share this Ohana. Yes. We exactly. share this Definitely. Ohana. Yes, indeed. Well, folks, thank you again for joining us with this yes. uh, special edition of College Conversation with me, Rick. And me, Nae. And our favorite guest who's been a second time. We're going to get him another, another time. This is. Grandmaster Harry, Harry Green. Green. It's or the only us, time we call him Grandmaster yeah, Harry time. Green. And you know what they, or what these two told me to you before? Uh. Okay, we did the Cali 25. Yes. And they were going to have all women. Oh, that's coming up. Ooh. Look out for that. We will yeah. have we're we're working all on women. Now that he said it, we have to we do have it. We have to do it. We have to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It's out there. All, we're get it. Yeah, all women. That's Ooh, that ought to be. We're going to see others doing. That yeah. ought to be awesome. That's going to be crazy. Again, so thank you guys very much, and we'll see you in three, two, one. one. Correct. Right. That was awesome. Awesome. <laughs>